Hello guys and welcome, and this is just another promotion of the one of the tools I developed, um, uh, which is a quick way for you to set up a bunch of different uh, varying shapes for your character. Um, so, in some situations, that when you're building your character for like your game or something, uh, and you want to move the character into multiple different shapes, uh, like a blend shape or something. Right, and you could be trying something like this. Uh, so you go ahead and create a blend shape, right? You add a target and you start adjusting it. Uh, for example, you may want to create a bulkier guy, right? So you would go for maybe make the whole body higher, oh, higher, right? <laughs> so it's hard to control here. So uh, maybe you add a lot of muscles down the way. You would do like a bulge kind of thing, right? To make him bulk here like that. Okay, now this looks all good and you can morph, no problem. But once you start animating, you can see the problem is that you're still still rotating based on that pivot. Okay, so the animation will not be compatible if you move too far. And this is moving not actually super far, right? That's reasonable, kind of like a change. Uh, maybe sometimes you want to make like a an enemy to morph from a normal human to like a monster. This is totally reasonable, right? But you still want to share the same animation and whatnot. And uh, this blend shape way is not gonna be efficient uh, or practical to make that much of a movement. Again, it's because you're still rotating based on that. Okay, so. It'd be better if the joint is also moved, and you're morphing not just a blend shape, uh, which is not a not only just a blend shape, but also a movement of the joints. Okay, and that that's what this little tool is uh, does. So I'm gonna gonna go, go ahead and delete all that. So instead, I'm gonna first grab the joints and make sure that you do this before you rig the character because uh, uh, the code cannot really predict what kind of controls. Will be applied to your joint, right? So it will be uh, harder to, you know, to and actually add that step or extra control uh, with a already built rig. So this has to be done before rigging after you create the joint. Okay. So you grab the the root joint. Oh, and also by the way, uh, this does not support namespace yet. So so go ahead and get rid of that namespace. Okay. And then you grab your joint. And then you create interface joint. What this does is going to create another joint chain called the receiver, and it's going to be the same naming as your joint with underscore receiver uh, in their naming. And this receiver joint also is already connected to the underneath joints. Uh, so if you move the receiver joint, you can see it's moving the underneath bending joint. Okay. So so uh, when you start doing your rig, uh, you just rig on the receiver joint and forget there is a binding joint of course when you're bringing this to the game engine the binding joint will be the one so this is this kind of like it's going to be behaving like an interface for the rig to be applied okay all right and then you can start to uh, move the joints to create that bulkier body and that means i probably need to make the body higher so i'm going to grab that guy and drag it up and maybe that no, maybe uh this guy yeah both of those guys and make them go higher and then maybe this will go uh, x negative 14 I'm gonna copy that value and put it in here uh, which this should be a uh, positive 14 okay and then this will go also wider uh, maybe 19 here and that will be negative that much right. let's see this is how the skeleton of the bug here guys should look like Okay, when that is done, then you want to start also doing your blend shape now. So I'm going to grab that and then add a target, uh, blend shape, and, and then add a target, right? And it's going to be the uh, big guy, blend shape, target. All right. And then you can start sculpting it. So I'm going to go to the sculpting tools, and this time, just very similar thing, like bulging things out here. So there is something in there. Whoops. And of course, this has to be bigger. Also, including the legs, set out. 
So or this is the like the monster now, right? Oops. And maybe we can have some more definition by maybe making the deltoid a bit more visible. They pack tallest major. Right, all those things. So yeah. And maybe here too. So this is like the the bulkier guy, right? Like this. Okay. And when you're done with that, you uh, go to the blend shape and you, you select the blend shape node. Okay. You grab that and put it into the blend shape. And that's gonna be the blend shape that will be attached to our control eventually. And then we'll be um, big guy maybe big guy right big guy here and then you grab the you can basically grab all the joints you want or if you know which joint you have moved you can also just grab those joints but let me just grab this guy and do a select hierarchy so i'm going to select all the joints of the receiver okay and then with that blend shape also there and the naming you can just click on add new shape the body will go back to the original shape and there will be a slider uh created here let me drag it up. Uh, I'm grabbing the group and scale it up. Okay. Now this slider is allow you. It's gonna allow you to morph to those two different states, right? The original one and the new one by shifting the uh, the hips, uh, the original bending joint. Uh, okay. Okay. And then the good thing is here now, uh, uh, like what I said before, your rig will be applied to the receiver joint chain, right? So as you can see how now the rotation is based on that pivot. Right, so this is going to be much better in that case. And you are able to create multiple variants now. Uh, and then it's going to also all receive the same rig. And once you rig this joint chain, you just have this one controller to move from the original animation or original form to the new form uh, without dealing with the hassle of you know the pivot problem. Okay. Now this, of course, will support multiple variants, meaning that uh, if I want to create like a little s lower one, I could do that. So I can just grab all three of these guys and move them down, right? And then maybe I can drag this guy in, maybe this much, object mode maybe. Oh, or this guy, I guess. Negative four. And this, of course, will be four. And maybe I, I, can, I can have a longer neck just to have some fun. No, not that one. This one. Okay. And this will be another variant. Okay. Again, I just need to go add another target. And call this long neck. Okay. And then start editing it using the sculpting tool, grab, maybe make it thinner here. And just smooth to make all these guys thinner. Shrink that. Uh, that would be too much stretching, so I guess. Uh, yeah, we're basically making it thinner in this case. <laughs> All right, so that's another shape now. And again, we need to select the blend shape node. All right, so we can grab that attribute and put it in here long neck. And this is maybe long neck. Oops, long neck. Okay, and again, you just grab the entire hierarchy again, select the whole hierarchy. Okay, and then you add new shapes. Okay, so now we have another slider that's created for you called long neck. You can drag it over here. Right, 
now you are you have the ability to also switch to the long neck or you switch to the bulkier guy and again they're all able to receive the same joint uh same receiver joint inputs and you can even blend them together if you wanted to <laughs> right uh yeah so you can add as much as you want uh to to make it work and the underneath structure is using whatever my eyes have so you don't have to worry about having this with you as long as it's built it's going to work just fine Oops. Uh, of course you you want to animate this instead right so just remember to rig your character with its receiver joint chain forget that okay and then after you have everything you can maybe let's do some animation right so this will do that and then you can of course go back and forth um, to switch the bug here guy it's gonna do the same animation all right so that just give you a convenient way of having one joint chain to control multiple different shapes or to have different shapes for one joint chain basically all right i hope this this little script will help you to do something it's on gumroad uh, i'm gonna make it uh free but if you wanted to like uh you know support me somehow you can uh give it a different uh price all right so yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching